Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you for joining us for another session of the WNS Opera Grand Rounds. Tonight, we have two special guests, Dr. Charlie Branch and Dr. Joe Chen, none of whom require any introduction. They're going to talk to us about cutting-edge, minimally invasive spinal procedures. Charlie, Joe, thanks again, and please take it away. Sure. Thanks, Aaron. You know, it's a pleasure to help moderate this session and introduce Dr. Charlie Branch, who's Professor and Chair of Neurosurgery at Wake Forest University. I also want to say thanks to Annalise Rodriguez, who is currently a resident at Wake Forest and who helped put all this together for tonight's session. Uh, Charlie, why don't you get us started and talk to us about this new minimally invasive technique that uh, that's actually, you know, starting to pick up a lot of steam. Thank you, Joe. Um, uh, it's a privilege to be here with you, and again, my thanks to Annalise. She's uh, she's tied up doing uh, clinical work; uh, otherwise, she'd be here uh, uh, with us this evening as well. The minimally invasive world, obviously, is is um, kind of it's a hot topic. Um, the um, uh, I think the, the 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 challenge we all have is you know what is minimally invasive spine surgery? I, I think. Uh, uh, Everybody has a different perspective. You know, is it percutaneous, endoscopic, uh, tubular retractor? We've got expandable retractors now. They're muscle splitting, muscle preserving, navigation uh, from the side, from the back, from the front. A lot of different uh, uh, sort of thoughts, but I really would like this evening for us to focus on really what our goals are. Contemporary spine surgery should minimize tissue disruption, maximize the therapeutic benefit, minimize radiation exposure, minimize blood loss, and really be an efficient consumer of OR time and resources, and even hospital resources. And I think even most important is we've got to be able to optimize the learning curve for a new technique or technology so that us old guys, or those of us that have been in practice and learned it a certain way, can develop a skill quickly uh, that gives us access to this uh, a minimally invasive or less invasive approach. And so this evening, I'd like to introduce you to or familiarize with you a, 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 a technique that uses a very familiar approach, a midline laminectomy type approach that allows us to do a direct decompression, remove bone, ligament, a hypertrophic facet, uh, and, and get the nerves and dura decompressed, and even do an inner body fusion, either a unilateral T lift or the bilateral PLIF approach. And then, with the novelty being uh, instead of exposing out over the pedicles and pulling down muscle or using navigation or other techniques to put in percutaneous uh, pedicle screws, we're going to actually take advantage of anatomy already exposed to put a cortical bone screw uh, uh, fixation that really doesn't require any more dissection than we've already done to do our decompression. We're going to call this this hybrid or mini open midline lumbar inner body fusion approach. Does that get your attention, Joe? You no, know, it does. I think it's actually a little bit more, in my opinion, than just a, another minimally invasive technique. I think it's another tool in the armamentarium. And I hope you kind of go over some of the anatomy for us, because one of the things about this technique is that it's a little bit more medial. And so, for example, if you're doing a pedicle subtraction osteotomy, you have to close it down with a separate short segment fixation. And you won't have room for the longer rod next to it without a, with a traditional technique. And I think migrating the heads a little bit medial may allow you a little bit better uh, ability to put both rods next to each other. So I think, what do you think about, can you tell us a little bit more about the anatomy uh, on that and the uh, starting trajectories? Yeah, let me, let me sort of show you. I think this is, you know, as much as we like to think this is a new, something new, um, in reality, you know, Art Steffi, years ago, one of our great champions of, uh, of spinal uh, surgery and fixation surgery, really coined the term force nucleus when he uh, identified this really um, this this junction or confluence of the superior facet, the pars lamina, the pedicle, transverse process, a lot of intersecting forces on this place. So this bone arguably is the most durable or the most uh, stress resistant. And, and in fact, if, in, if we can use a, a, a bone fixation technique that engages this bone, we're probably purchasing the strongest bone um, in the, 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 the segment. And the entry point or this, uh, this approach is pretty consistent, even with the degenerated 